hey y'all welcome back to my channel today's video as you can see from the title is going to be a very long awaited life update video if you're new here hey girl take a seat get a snack sit down my name is akira janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave if you are not new <clears throat> hey y'all <laughs> i missed you i missed you i really did miss you i missed all of y'all I've been talking to a few of y'all on all of my other social medias. You can follow me and be down below in the description box and maybe on the screen here. But here recently, I've been really active on, throughout this whole time I've been MIA on YouTube, I've been active on <clears throat> Instagram, TikTok. Y'all know my TikTok got deleted at almost 5K followers. So I did create a new one. So I've been trying to get that up. But we'll talk about that. I've been on just other social media. So... We're just gonna dive right on in um yeah we're gonna go ahead and <laughs> start with the obvious so obviously you guys most of you guys know um i do have quite a few y'all that follow me on my other social medias but obviously my platform here on youtube is the biggest with 30 plus thousand <laughs> supporters here um and i know a lot of y'all usually just have youtube and don't really follow me on some of the other things but if not obviously you can see from the title i am expecting i'm pregnant me and my man we're gonna be parents <laughs> so super excited today i do want to go ahead and record this video and hopefully post it for you guys and then i will be posting the gender reveal after this um <clears throat> so yeah anyways we're just gonna get straight into it i um as y'all have been telling me i've been mia i did post a video nine days ago but that video to be quite honest is just things that i've already had kind of recorded like a month two months ago at this point because it is November so my last actual vlog vlog was 47 days ago it says um so yeah a long time and then I did post another video 24 days ago that was me getting my new miniature poodle Duke you guys know um I will have some updates about him as well and that was recorded in August so I've been keeping a few little secrets from you guys I haven't been necessarily hiding anything it's just as I get older and especially this year which I've kind of always been like this but I kind of just wanted to just kind of savor in the moment with special things or things that's been happening in my life um instead of just running straight to the internet which I never feel like I've just ran straight to the internet on anything but you know just kind of savor it for a little bit so I did get him in August I told y'all literally in almost November um I found out I was pregnant August 29th and I just told y'all three days ago, so in November, <laughs> um, a lot of y'all was shocked. A lot of y'all were saying that you guys had a feeling or that you knew from my last vlog um, when I was preparing for my cruise. I posted that intentionally. Um, like I said, I'm never going to be the YouTuber to just hide things or I'm never going to be the YouTuber to get on camera and try to fake it. If I don't feel my best, I'm not going to get on camera so you guys see I mean, I'm looking good. I'm feeling good right now. Two months ago, September and October, could not say that <laughs> about me then. So I am super excited to be feeling a lot better now. But like I said, it's just been a long journey. So a lot of y'all were saying that y'all figured it out or whatever from the video. But I intentionally did. I intentionally posted that because I knew I was going to do the official post on Saturday. So yeah um but yeah i have not been hiding i've still been posting elsewhere like instagram i literally recorded the whole cruise i was taking pictures on the cruise like i was out there i just wasn't showing i literally posted pictures of me from the cruise only thing somebody could maybe clock me for is my boobs have gotten tremendously bigger i'm already a triple d so now they're just like oops <laughs> ginormous um but still some people was just like you know like i just didn't think you were pregnant like your boobs always been big it's just like god dang girl like what you been doing so yeah um i found out on the 29th i told my man the next day i want to say and then i didn't tell literally nobody else i think i told my friend janae like my best friend a few days later um didn't tell my parents or anything until like a couple weeks after honestly and then like my closest cousins and didn't tell them until um mid-september so i haven't really just <laughs> told anybody it's just being pregnant 
it wasn't a shock because I should have recorded my reaction when I did it but like I said I just live in the moment so as soon as I flipped it over I was just like okay like <laughs> I'm gonna be a mom um what made me take one was the whole month of August my boobs were on fire hurting so bad that is my number one period symptom so I didn't think too much of it the first like two weeks because my boobs will hurt for at least two weeks before my cycle comes so I'm like okay it's just my period about to come but baby they was hurting and sore all August so from literally my birthday August 1st up until August 29th they were hurting and then I was really sleepy so if y'all know I am normally a sleepy girl already <laughs> but I was extremely exhausted and I've never felt falling asleep at work I've never like I've been tired at work but I fell asleep at work one time for like <laughs> I don't even know how long but I, I knew I fell asleep and I'm like hold up <laughs> I've never in my life fell asleep at work before and my boyfriend was just like why are you so you know why are you so tired and i was like i mean i don't know like i work 12 hour shifts over i don't know so then i ordered a test from amazon uh a day before the 29th because i did like one day shipping came next day and then i took it this was the day i think of the game um it was like a huge game here in little rock and he was like he's so funny he was like do you care you know if i go you know with my friends to go to the tailgate go to you know just hang out da, da, da. and i'm like go ahead like go 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 because i was planning to take pregnancy tests um i wanted to take it alone you know some couples and stuff taken together and things like that but i'm an introvert and i like to just kind of do things by myself most of the time so i just went ahead and took it myself um waited the two to three minutes flipped it over yeah i'm pregnant um <clears throat> Took another one yes i'm pregnant <laughs> so i may pop into pictures and then my face when i really realized like you're about to have a child so that same day i think i went to the clinic yeah i went to the clinic to completely confirm it and my nurse was just like yeah girl you're pregnant congrats <laughs> so that's how that happened i have this folder on my phone and i also had notes i'm trying to make sure i ain't got nothing on tea but I haven't really been like recording a lot because like I said the first two months for sure September I was glued to the bed I was nauseated I was throwing up um losing weight like September was a horrible month for me physically and October kind of was as well I like it kind of lit up a little bit but October was definitely pretty bad for me as well but not as bad as September so I'm gonna put on the screen the pregnancy test and like my face and things like that and then yeah I literally went to the clinic so I took these pictures at 5 32 baby I was out the clinic at 6 52 was playing no games <laughs> so I do have a video of me telling him I told him like I said the next day at seven o'clock and then I made a cute little bitty like little basket and stuff to tell him and then I took my first like official picture August 30th as well of my little stomach I feel like I was mostly bloated but we did go to so I called I found an OB finally um after like a week and a half two weeks of searching the best doctor I've ever had in my life but <clears throat> they scheduled me I think three weeks out from when I initially called them on the phone and I'm like three to four weeks out and I'm like there's no absolute way that I can wait three to four weeks to be seen and know about my baby and see if the baby's okay so <laughs> I found this place here locally um that is she's an ultrasound tech and been an ultrasound tech for 20 years so um that's where I go just in between appointments sometimes and I went to her on September 5th and my nurse at the clinic told me I would be about 10 or 11 weeks and come to find out I was actually really only seven weeks so i got a little excited thinking i was further along but i wasn't but we did go we heard the heartbeat Very hard because okay i'm sorry i'm pushing i know it's not Do the I most to comfortable my legs? okay there's a little yolk sack and then there's a little thing right there gosh y'all get that one yes okay perfect 
um <clears throat> when i was seven weeks literally insane that definitely kind of made it feel real and then she gave us a whole bunch of pictures as well and that's when i had told i had told somebody then i told my cousin on september 20th so that's why i'm like it literally i told them damn near a month after so i kept this secret for a very long time um the nausea was horrible this is a video of me september 26th this video is me laying on my bathroom floor because the floor was so cold and i just could not be elevated and i was just so sick i was throwing up this day many days but i literally was just laying here and i literally sent this to my boyfriend because he was like what you doing and i'm like this is what i'm doing pillow on the ground me laying down by the toilet because i would just have to continuously throw up and i told my um friend janae since i wasn't at work the whole month of september and mostly halfway through october i was dang there off for almost two months i work at the hospital obviously so we have these emesis bags that we give the patients when they throw up i told her to give me some of those because i was going on a cruise y'all know i went on a cruise <coughs> got those and then this is the cruise i still have to post that vlog that vlog will be posted after this one and you can kind of see my bump and stuff i'll add in the actual like bump photos and stuff now or like just anything pregnancy related or keep that in the video since you guys do know now so the cruise i got sick about two to three times i just still wasn't able to eat much and then we did have another appointment on october 18th baby was definitely growing and baby was in there flipping turning and everything baby is going to be really really active I already know um so yeah that's pretty much it like i said i haven't been recording much i'm going to be recording a lot more now because i do feel a lot better but the sickness hold on dry mouth which is crazy the saliva and the spitting is out of this world no one could have ever told me how much saliva that i will produce and how much i would have to spit throughout the day it's totally insane but my biggest thing that i could complain about is the nausea and vomiting um i am in my second trimester now so thank god i literally was praying to god every day you just never know you know you just never know <laughs> just the smallest thing that the smallest things that you will appreciate just being able to eat i lost 20 pounds in the month of september alone um i was 144 august 29th when i stepped on the scale because i just thought i was about to gain weight you know everybody tell all the skinny girls that y'all gonna gain that we're gonna gain weight when we get pregnant and have a baby did not the complete opposite for me so <laughs> i weighed myself i was 144 come throughout september steady going down so that's why when a few of y'all were like oh you know in the vlog i could tell that you know like in your face you was gaining weight this this and that and i'm like baby i lost 20 pounds like you couldn't tell anything none of my clothes fit me now i'm about almost back to like 130 but 124 when i was losing all that weight none of my clothes fit me every single thing is too big for me um it definitely discouraged me it definitely kind of sent me to a little bit of depression just because it's like i'm growing an entire human why am i losing 20 pounds i can't eat i could barely drink water water was nasty I had to put lemon in it it was just a whole lot of things my food aversions was really really bad i could not my meat aversions was horrible could not eat meat I still can't really eat meat. The only meat that I eat is like chicken strips and chicken nuggets from Chick-fil-A. Um, I had pasta, but I chopped the chicken breast really small like you would give to a toddler. Um, and I was able to eat that. But other than that, like I've eaten, I've eaten hamburger meat. On the cruise, I did eat like ribs, but I threw that up. <laughs> so I haven't really ate any meat this far no chicken wings chicken breasts um i tried to eat a pork chop like a month and a half ago couldn't even eat it couldn't stomach it couldn't stomach macaroni none of that we just had a friend's giving though and i was able to eat mac and cheese and stuff so like my doctor said my appetite and stuff you know the second trimester is just like oh girl like we made it everybody loves the second trimester that's what my doctor was telling me i'm super excited that i am actually able to eat now but yeah that's why i haven't been on camera my camera is overheating so if it turns off we'll just pick back up but 
I wanted to vlog and I was vlogging for y'all. I just did not have the energy physically to do anything and I definitely could not edit. I kid y'all not, I have over a thousand emails in my inbox right now for like collaborations and stuff because I have not responded back to a collaboration since September. <laughs> I plan to do that now, but it's gonna be a whole lot. Um, yeah, the two collabs that I've had, it literally took me a month and a half to finish. So that's why I'm like, I'm not gonna accept or do anything until I feel good. I am feeling good, thank God, praise God. I've literally been praying nonstop, not even kidding y'all. Um, if you have children pregnant now, whatever the case may be, then you know what I'm going through probably most likely. But if you were just to tell me that I would be feeling like this and just describing things, there's no way that I could have ever imagined this feeling and the feeling that I felt throughout this pregnancy. And I know it's gonna continue being like that. Um, it definitely was rough, not even gonna lie. Throughout September, like my man, he Bay had to do everything for me. And I don't see how people do this without a man. Like I understand, like you just gotta do what you gotta do. And I definitely applaud all the women that do. My camera's about to shut off. But I know if I didn't have him, things would just have been 10 times worse. So having him makes everything 10 times better and i could not thank god enough i absolutely hate the sony camera um i do like doing the sony camera for like the sit down videos instead of the dji i like to take that on the go most of the time i mean anyways y'all ain't coming for that so <laughs> like i was saying um i definitely applaud all the women like i was telling my friend she's a single mom um which anyways she's a single mom basically and it's just like i just be talking to her and i'm like I literally applaud you. I literally, obviously I've always respected, you know, single parents and things like that. But it's like, now that I'm actually about to be a parent and actually is going through the whole pregnancy and things like that, just something that you would want your partner there, your significant other there for, and someone not having that or any support system, I'm about to cry right now because it's like, how the do y'all do it? That's literally insane. Um, I definitely applaud all of y'all or anybody that has been in that situation because it's, not easy there's been so many times oh my god stop girl the pregnancy symptoms is insane the emotions boy anyways it's been so many times that i just just start crying for no reason like in the bed because i'm so nauseated i just got done like my wax lady said when she would get done vomiting she would just cry and i'm like wow like that that used to happen to me too when i would throw up so much it'll like my body will shake i would get so hot and i just feel so empty inside and like i would definitely tear up most of the time but i'm just like baby in there you know like most of the time he was there a few times i was throwing up he wasn't here you know he's at work or whatever but anyways him just being here holding my you know holding my hair back getting me water doing this and this and that <clears throat> i have not been able to eat a home cooked meal in two months if you follow me on Instagram, then you guys know that I just cooked breakfast for the first time in two months. I could not stomach the smell of anything in this house. He's been running nonstop, going to get food from all kind of restaurants and just, just a lot. Like, <laughs> I just cannot <laughs> thank him enough and just cannot, you know, show my appreciation to y'all who don't have, you know, somebody there to do that. And, it, you know, don't even got to be your man or anything just you know some people don't even have family there so it's, it's just been crazy um shout out to my cousin donna though she's literally already bought dang there <laughs> most of the stuff that's on my registry um a, a subscriber you did ask me about posting the registry so that aunts aunties cyber aunties can send some stuff i don't plan to post the registry until honestly like january just because my cousin is going crazy buying things which i am so blessed for that um i haven't personally bought anything yet because i kind of just want to wait because i know i am going to get so much stuff so and i gotta tweak it too because the stuff that she bought like i said it's on the registry and she bought it in store so i do got to take some stuff off and then you know add stuff so all of that will be after the holidays and things like that for those of you who do want to you know uh give me things and stuff like that very appreciative but yeah that's just kind of the spill on that i did write some notes down 
<laughs> that I wanted to talk about. Um, I dropped hints in the last video. Yes, I covered that. I just realized that vent fan was on in my kitchen. So I hope y'all don't really honestly hear that. Um, I mentioned that I wasn't vlogging because I was too sick. I wasn't hiding. A few people was like, I was hiding. That's why I haven't been posting and stuff. Um, I just physically couldn't get out of bed. Um, oh, we already know the gender, like I said. Um, I do want to post this video that you guys are watching today, which is the 19th of November. And then after I post this, I recorded the gender reveal in like horizontal, well, vertical form. So that'll be like in a YouTube short. And then I'm going to post it on TikTok and an Instagram reel. Um, so if I can get this video out, that will be after this. So we do know the gender. We found out the gender october 30th and obviously if you guys watch the video then you guys do know it is exactly what i wanted and it is exactly what bay wanted so yeah i mentioned that i had lost 20 pounds through the month of september and just kind of kept losing throughout october um so yeah i am slightly gaining weight back but i feel like i don't like people even at my job because my last day working was like september 10th and then I went back in October and when I went back in October, they were just like, I can see it, you know, in your face. My face slimmed down so much and it's still really small as well. Even my watch on my arm, like I said, I'm like 128 or so right now. This right here, I didn't have any wiggle room. So my watch will completely twist around and flop around. So that's how I know I still have a lot of weight to gain back. I can also feel when I lose weight, when I wear rings, if my rings start to get loose, that means I'm losing weight. Just like my watch, if this watch can turn around my whole entire wrist because I did take the right, correct amount of lengths out, that means I lost weight. So yeah, just wanted to pinpoint on that. Um, I thought I did have HG. I talked to my doctor about it, but they just, like I didn't have it. I never had to go to the ER or anything like that to get fluids which I thought I was going to have to this one Saturday, like last month, I threw up five times that day. And I, I just, I was going through it. And why is this camera overheating again? Um, I want to give a little Duke update as well. Um, he was sick for like a week straight. Took him to the doctor, everything. He's fine. He doesn't have any diseases. He got his shots now. He's still not fully potty trained because like I said, the whole month of September and October, I basically was not able to get up out of the bed and train him how I needed to. Um, when I first got him for the first three weeks, y'all know I was taking him out every two to three hours, you know, just doing all the puppy training things. And he was doing really good then. He is doing good now, but I still keep a diaper on him just in case. So yeah, that's kind of the spill on him. Um, just need to get the potty training together. I can't wait until I move. Spoiler alert, we are moving again. Well, I'm moving again, and then me and Bae, I was just going to be living together. Um, we did find a place, but we're not going to get into that until next year. I am going to start planning out my videos. I do have 10 video ideas for another moving series. So I know you guys love that. I love doing the moving series, but this time I am going to be pregnant and out of breath. <laughs> so we're going to be moving way before baby is due, which I am ecstatic about because I did not want to be dang near you know 36 weeks 38 weeks pregnant and having to move like in the month of my due date and i did not want to move after baby was here with a newborn i just feel like it'll be too much so i am excited that we're literally going to be moving a week before my baby shower and i will be able to put all of the gifts and everything you know in baby's room and just just have a new space a huge bigger space we've already toured it we already signed the lease like we've already got everything situated paid the deposit we just have to wait to move in after the holidays so i'm super excited about that um to be able to raise a family in something that is not in an apartment if you guys don't know i do live on the third floor right now so that is another reason why i'm having so much trouble with potty training duke just taking a little bit longer because like I said, I'm out of breath already. I've been out of breath a month and a half ago and going up and down three flights of stairs pregnant every three hours or so is definitely tiring. Like I said, I applied my boyfriend. He's been taking them out nine times out of 10 in the morning, night, evening, all of that. Um, since the day he found out, he's been staying with me literally every single night um since august 29th he's probably didn't he probably didn't stay over here what three nights 
Y'all, I'm so sorry. My camera keeps overheating. I absolutely <laughs> hate this Sony camera. But I love the quality and everything. It's just pissing me off. If it does it again, I'm going to have to switch to the DJI. And it's just, I be hating using that one because I do have the color gray. Everything else I absolutely love. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, he stayed with me every single night. Minus like three nights out of the past three months or so. Um, and it's been amazing. So that's why I'm like, I'm just ready for us to have our place. For us to start our family, have the baby, all of that. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to after the holidays, but I am glad that I am pregnant during the holidays because I feel like it is making it go by a lot faster because every week I'm like, dang, like I'm already this many weeks, this many weeks, this many weeks. Um, so yeah, um, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. The first few months was definitely hard. Um, I was in the trenches for real. I do know that it people say that it does kind of go back the same during the third trimester it's just different for everybody but i am praying that i don't go back to how i was in the beginning of this pregnancy um but yeah i'm out of breath as well talking to y'all right now i gave y'all duke update i gave y'all an update of you know living situations and things like that because i'm raising a baby in this apartment i do have a two bed two bath y'all know but it's just so small i live here by myself and all of my stuff take up this whole entire apartment so i couldn't even imagine having a newborn in here with all of the baby stuff on top of a man my man in here <laughs> with all of his stuff so i'm just super excited um yeah some of y'all asked to see a like real-time baby bump i just posted the pictures i took those pictures like a week ago but if y'all see this shirt again <laughs> on my tiktok and on the social media I'm wearing some shorts now, but I have not actually worn this whole outfit. So if you see this shirt again, don't say nothing, girl, because you know we're here with it, okay? I'm just doing this for the video. I needed a cute top. So I'm going to show y'all what little bump I do got. I mean, I'm like I said, I lost 20 pounds. So I feel like when I was 20 pounds heavier, my bump would definitely probably be bumping right now. But in tight fitted clothes, you could definitely see because it'll look like that. But without tight fitted clothes, this is how baby bump is looking. Like I said, you guys will know the gender either right after this video or the next day, depending on. But a lot of y'all have been DMing me <laughs> and commenting because I said I was going to post it in two days after the initial <laughs> pictures. And it's been past two days. But, you know, sorry. I like to get my YouTube fam, you know, caught up. <laughs> But yeah, camera's overheating again. It's about to piss me off. Um, if you have any questions, advice, just tell me what y'all been up to. I missed y'all. What y'all been doing? What y'all been doing? I also have not been watching any YouTube videos as well. Like, I've been off of YouTube completely. I have not watched anybody's YouTube videos. Obviously, I haven't been posting. I haven't been doing anything. And I do, oh, I have a new job. I guess we can talk about that. I'm going to have to switch to the DJI. But I do have a new job. My doctor was like, um, hmm, don't really want you working and doing what you was doing at the hospital. Because, you know, at the hospital, I would have up to 12 patients. I would have to lift, pull, tug on them. Um, just, just do so much. And I worked 12-hour shifts there. And it just became a lot to the point where I literally get sleepy between 1 to 3 a.m., so I do now have a day job to where I only basically give showers to my patients and residents. And depending on where I work, I just cook breakfast and lunch. Well, I just cook like lunch and dinner for them. Or I literally just watch them do arts and crafts and kind of just help them throughout the day, keep them moving, keep their minds, you know, engaged, things like that. So it's definitely 10 times easier, not gonna lie, than my hospital job. I did get a pay cut but physically and mentally i am a hundred times better and obviously do whatever i need to do for baby because i do not need to be bending lifting and all of that and my new job actually has all the lifting devices and machines and all kind of stuff girl stuff i ain't never seen before <laughs> so i'm like why does the hospital not have this because if a patient needs assistance like if we are talking at the hospital and we'd be like oh the patient is, is a two assist that means Two people about to be up under this patient arm, holding them and like picking them up and like doing stuff for them. And my new job, baby, we have a lift. We have this thing that we push them around it. Like it's just so much better. Um, and this job actually appreciates you. 
unlike my hospital job which were just a number um literally this friday we're about to have a thanksgiving feast so all the patients residents and stuff family is going to come we're going to eat dinner and like just do all thanksgiving stuff my job would never never they never like we would never do anything like that so i am excited to actually feel appreciated at my new job so yeah that's all i can think of my camera's about to go off in a few seconds so don't forget to like this video comment and subscribe until my next one bye guys